Israel's plan to accelerate the building of settlements comes weeks after the United Nations called on them to stop their activities in the occupied territories. To help us talk about all of this, we have Suhad Bashara, the director of the Land and Planning Rights Unit for the Haifa-based organization Adala. Emmanuel Miller is a political analyst in Jerusalem. A sad day for a lot of people who are following this story very closely. Emmanuel, how do you see the results of this story here with the settlers being evicted? Um, the settlers being evicted is particularly distressful um, because what happened was that they were promised that they would have alternative um, place to move to. And at the very moment that they were evicted from their now previous place of residence, the Supreme Court says it, their new residence would be illegal. So they are really caught um, in a, between a rock and a hard place where they were told they had to move out, but they had no place to move to. So whoever you are, whatever your feelings on, on the matter, you have to feel very, you know, you have to feel bad for them. Just bring in, Su Suhan, let me just bring in Emmanuel because I want to share the conversation around a little bit. Emmanuel, as, as an you. outsider, I'm, I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Let me show you this headline because I'd love you to bounce off this can, and help us as an international community understand better. Israel evacuates settle, settlers from the illegal Amona outpost. But under here, the Israeli police moved to clear West Bank settlement as construction of 3,000 new settler homes announced elsewhere. It's what's below the headline that is mm -hmm. interesting. Why is it this is. expansion going on now? I think it's very clear that we're moving into a new era after the failed Obama administration. The attempts to stop Jews from living in their indigenous homeland, the land of Israel as is part of our um, historical it's always been um, the place where we've looked to, where we've been around the world, this is where we come from, this is where we belong. And that's been denied um, to us over the last eight years. We've barely been able to um, build in the West Bank. We've even voluntarily um, agreed to a 10-month building freeze right at the beginning of Obama's administration. Um, and I think when we agreed to the building freeze, we would have liked to see some kind of reciprocation from the Palestinians. We would have wanted to see that they would say, OK, we'll reduce the terror attacks, we'll reduce um, the incitement against Israelis. And we haven't seen that. And in the absence of a Palestinian um, peace partner, I think um, it's also no, um, important to point out that these um, building units are going to be within um, the, within the, um, the limits of settlements that are already existing, meaning they're not taking up more space. They are taking up um, more or less as, as much space as already um, taken by Israeli, set, Israeli settlements. We're not talking about a so massive is, difference to yeah. the... Go on, you're after you. I want to engage I, I, with you I'm as well. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, no I, 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 your point well taken. I mean, I can understand uh, where you're going from there. But, I mean, there's two main issues here. Um, <clears throat> the first issue um, is an issue of basic private law and private land. You can't take somebody else's land just because you believe that you have some sort of divine right to it. I mean, that's number one. Of course you can't, but you also two, have to prove I, I that find, you have owned that land. I Can find, you prove that I you own that land? I find, absolutely. The, the issue with Imona specifically was the exact... 0.5% of the land exactly was private. private. But Atta, I, I, I want to move, Atta, I want to move really beyond Imona because because my, no my, my thought was, Atta, my thought was, because I want to understand this as clearly as we can, It was my thought was, why is so much expansion happening now? Well, the expansion happening now because they needed to, I mean, Netanyahu's in, a, in between a rock and a hard place. I mean, that's the bottom line. Having to remove uh, uh, settlers and going against uh, a large part of his political base. And obviously the issues with relation to the allegations of corruption. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. This happens uh, usually and we're, we're, we're pretty normal to it. I just find, I mean, the, the issue here is, yes, I can understand the feeling that uh, Jews may have in terms of their religious uh, uh, affiliation to this land. I mean, the majority of you came as refugees to Palestine. Uh, but to use this term indigenous as if the native people this that were living here for years. Here. Here. And I have, it's not just historical, I have, it's a fact. I, mean, I, have, I have homes and land in Palestine farther mm -hmm. than you can trace your roots. I mean, <laughs> that's, I mean that's the bottom line. You cannot use this terminology so freely, and it doesn't change the fact of the matter that the No, I don't think you can is... dictate to me what I can believe in and what my historical roots are. I, it's very clear that there are, there are masses of archaeological evidence for, the, um, for a Jewish presence here, going back millennia. Well, I mean, but yeah, large, certainly large centuries, and you can't say that we don't have connections to this land. Point, uh, you can talk about both uh, our connections, and this is, I think this is the root of it. Stop denying our connections to this land. 
we can both live in it together. I'm not denying any sort of religious affiliation. What I'm denying not just religious, is your claim historical, of native Palestinian, archaeological. Which is a so, jo Josh and uh, yeah. uh, uh, Josh, I want to bring you in here because Emmanuel and Emmanuel and I, I hear your points of view, 